Good morning and welcome back to our Portuguese homestead. This week we've been taking it very slow. It has been raining off and on quite heavily at some points. So we've been staying inside. As well as for the last few weeks we've all been sick off and on. Then it's Puck, as you can hear, uh, then me or Martin. So it's been very up and down. And this week all of that kind of just came together. So we've been resting a lot, taking it slow lots of naps and then hopefully next week or the week after we can pick things back up and get going in the garden but for now we are very happy with all the extra water we really need it for the soil and a couple videos ago i gave you a pond update there is things happening with it that i'll share a little bit later in this video for now welcome and i hope you enjoy So it's raining again. Luckily for us, it's been raining for quite a few days. And as you can see right there, our pond is full again. But as I was walking by the pond yesterday, um, it was already also already full, but I spotted something that was not great. So we're gonna walk there and I'll show you. For context, if you're not familiar, Martin dug this pond last year. Our soil that you can see if it's not <laughs> full, is very much mostly clay so it should settle pretty nicely if uh, we have some more rain and once there's water coming in and out um, it should settle but it's kind of a combination between a pond and a dam so it's whole but it's also as you can see here this whole area is kind of um, words have been hard um, kind of like a dam so that should hold a little bit more water at least that was the idea but slowly but surely we, we're coming to realize that maybe um, that won't work in our particular area because ooh, I hope this audio is gonna be okay um, because we here in Portugal it rains and it sometimes rains a lot but it all falls in one go. In other places in Northern Europe and like the UK, Wales, that kind of stuff, um, it will fall year round. But here in Portugal, we more kind of have, we're going towards monsoon season. So it used to rain more over the winter and now even more than before, it will all fall in one go. Um, although this winter has been extra dry. So we get this like lots and lots and lots of rain all in one go, which is not great because then um, it will dry up completely, kind of shrink again all the clay and that forms little gaps. And so as we go here, here's the pond. Um, over there you can see the pipe that we put in as an overflow if it would get too high but now the water is not coming out of the overflow but from a hole that formed when it was really dry and then the clay will start to crack um, 
So we've now kind of started to realize that maybe this setup as we have it now for the pond is not going to work to hold water long term. And we'd already seen that there would be water also in the field where we would want, we, where we don't want it. And as you saw, the chicken enclosure gets very swampy. So Martin has kind of has to redig the pond. This was the first pond that he ever dug, so it was kind of a good practice as well. But um, yeah, it has to be. Uh, redone in a different configuration a lot we need uh, we need to do some road work as well so he's gonna move a bunch of the soil onto the road to kind of um, level it a little bit more and then the rest of the soil is just gonna spread over the field and then um, just dig the hole dig dig a deeper hole basically so that where the water is gonna come in that's going to be the highest point and then um, it will have a better chance of actually staying there. I hope that made sense. All this soil has to move and that's basically this whole field is going to become a pond where we can hold water and that means that we have to move the chickens again Woo! i just don't know where yet still kind of struggling to think of a good place um but yeah we want to get new chickens anyway kind of slowly put the ones that we have in the pot and then that's for another <laughs> another discussion Okay, ready to cook. Uh, the other day I went to the shop and I was a little bit hungry, so you should never do that. <laughs> That's always a bad idea. So I got a few too many things that needed to be used up right away. Uh, one of them being some mixed ground beef and pork and some frozen spinach. During the winter we don't really have our fridge and freezer on because usually it's just not necessary because it's cold enough and we don't buy many things that need to be refrigerated but obviously you can't keep meat just in normal temperatures forever so uh, i need to use that up as well as uh, start using the spinach i'm thinking kind of like i'm gonna put it all in the oven with some cheese or some potatoes and then a meat sauce and some spinach and then cheese on top should be good um, yeah let's go <laughs> okay we bought this yesterday so it's not been out since forever um, I'm gonna cook it and I like to buy the um, beef and pork just because I think it has more flavor um, as opposed to just um, beef minced meat um, and then some spinach, cheese, potato, should be good. I've been cooking this leek and mushroom with a little bit of salt and now I'm gonna add the meat. 
I added the mushrooms and things just to bulk up the veggies and make just a little bit more sauce. Add some flavor. Should have used a bigger pan. like smashing them a little bit, the potatoes, and they absorb, but just like very chunky, then they absorb the sauce a little bit better, all right, I heat it up the spinach um, so that more moisture most of the moisture is gone um, and that's also a tip for when you want to make spinach quiche um, yeah all the moisture is kind of annoying so I'm not gonna use all of it I think this is good uh, this was a kilo bag so quite a lot <laughs> you can use the rest in an omelette or something like that And then is, this is the meat sauce with leek and mushrooms. And I put in some chopped parsley. And so the cheese that I have is mozzarella, which doesn't really have that much flavor, but it's what I have. I already started using it yesterday, so it's more like three-fourths of a cup. Um, but first, chunky bits of onion. Um, if I forget and you do want the recipe, I got this from a this idea from a Turkish moussaka recipe, which is one of my favorite summer meals. It's so good. Um, so if I forget to link it and you want it, do leave a comment. It's kind of the same, but different from just like Greek moussaka and it's so good. <laughs> and she puts this on top and then she doesn't put cheese on top. But I'm feeling like cheese. Um, and we are onion lovers in this house. At least I am. So um, if you're not, I want to do this. Cheese. And then it doesn't need too long because everything is already cooked. So 20, 25 minutes in an oven. So I obviously didn't have any recipe in mind when I made this, except for maybe that moussaka recipe. Um, but these were ingredients that I had and that were cheap in the shop when we went. And... Continue. 
Um, I was watching a video from Frugal Fit Mom. She does really great videos about budget cooking and like stretching every penny that you have. And she said it's usually the tip is to go with a list um, for ingredients that you want, like plan out the meal, all the meals for the whole week and then write down the ingredients that you still need and then go shopping and just get that. But another way to do it that might even be better, I don't know, we'll have to see, is to go to the shop and see what's on sale, what's cheap, what's like marked down, that kind of stuff, and then get that and just then just learn to cook with ingredients that you have. So this is one of those kinds of meals. Um, these were ingredients that were cheap, uh, that I was interested in, and then just build your meals around that. So, what do you think? What's the better way? Make a list or just buy what's on sale and then come up with recipes? I know that does require that you know a little bit about cooking and like making up meals, but I think everyone can learn that. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> It's done! Now we go inside to eat. So that was it for this week. I hope you enjoyed and now that I remember I'm not always great at remembering um, I just wanted to mention that if you like our videos you like our work then there's always our patreon PayPal and buy me a coffee in the description box down below so if you want to support us every month or just a one-time thing you can always do that via those links for now, I hope you all have a good week and I'll see you next week.